In a first for Trove News, we've got an exclusive. Aberdeen Strikes Oil, new discovery under the Scottish city. So here's a map showing the location of Aberdeen, and generally Aberdeen is the centre for the operations, but the oil and gas has been found towards the centre of the North Sea area. But now there's been a discovery right on this coastline. So if we highlight, here's the Docklands area, this is the River Dee staking its way out, this is Aberdeen city centre, and you can see just in this location here, as the, as the sun rises at dawn, you can see the location of the oil rig that uh, has been drilling for this uh, new discovery. So as we pan round from the mouth of the River Dee, across Aberdeen city centre, right up to the north, and uh, coming into view on the right hand side are the wind turbine. Here's a commemoration to the lost souls at sea, and as we pan round here across the golf course, here is an oil rig, the first oil rig ever to visit uh, Aberdeen. Um, here's a, a ship leaving the uh, Aberdeen Harbour, and uh, this is a, a view we took from the air, and close up you can see the oil rig here in this uh, Nig Bay area. You can see it's protected by these uh, breakwaters, and uh, here's a close up looking at the rig, and this is uh, in this uh, protected uh, dock area. You can see it's still a lot of uh, constructions going on, and in fact, uh, the question is whether the entire dock was put together so that you could get uh, protection for the drilling of this, uh, of this well. If you look closely now at the end of March 2023, there are now two rigs in the dock area drilling appraisal wells. Now, some may call it a chance encounter, but uh, we think it's just investigative journalism at its best. And it was a chance meeting with a, a Russian geologist at Flora's Cafe here in Torrey. And at this location, we sat down and discussed the geology of the uh, drilling operation. We uh, got access to this seismic line. It's from the Q4 2022 PSDM seismic acquisition and uh, you can see here the location of the uh, discovery well here at Aberdeen Harbour and you can see this is the uh, reservoir horizon here and it's actually pinching out as you go up to the north past the uh, the Trump International Golf Course here. There are a couple of places where there are intentions to uh, actually drill appraisal wells and sites are currently being worked up. Uh, you can see also these uh, these significant gas plumes that are arising at various parts uh, within the oil field. So it's a jack-up oil rig. Um, the cover story seems to be that it arrived for repairs back in January 2023. What we've gleaned so far by talking to Anatoly is that it looks like the wells encountered a 220-metre hydrocarbon column, and it's actually flowed at a peak gas rate of 34.7 million standard cubic feet at a top reservoir depth of only some 1,745 metres. Now, porosity is moderate at 16%, but also flowed at 32 API light oil at 11,800 barrels of oil per day. Reserves, well, uh, it's early days, but uh, there is talk of there being somewhere between 1 and 2 TCF of gas, and uh, indeed some oil as well. Now, this has taken the geologists by uh, absolute surprise. A uh, very unexpected result, because normally uh, Aberdeen area is associated with uh, kind of high-grade metamorphic and igneous rocks, granites. But now uh, geologists are realising that the, the Moyne Thrust, a feature that was really mapped and understood in the northwest remote areas of Scotland, is actually far more extensive and actually covers across to the northeast coast of Scotland. And in fact, on this cross section here, you can see here on the right hand side is the Aberdeen Harbour Well. And uh, we've actually gone through these imbricate slices here and gone into what is a new sedimentary sequence that wasn't known before. And in fact, as you can see, as we go across Scotland now, this is the new interpretation of the geology of northwest Scotland. Now, for an oil field this big, there will need to be a refinery. And this is, uh, we understand, is the sort of size and scale of operation that's being considered for the Aberdeen Harbour discovery. Now, um, to give you some idea, th this is the Nig Bay site here. And we understand that uh, it could be as much as um, an area, something like this, which would uh, be required to actually accommodate this new refinery location.
So there's lots of implications and questions to be asked about this new discovery. And the uh, the new First Minister needs to confirm, is there indeed Russian money involved in the uh, drilling operations that's ongoing? Was the entire new dock development simply a screen to enable nearshore drilling so close to a, a large urban centre like Aberdeen? And, and would a new terminal and refinery ruin the lives of, of millions of people living in the area? It might be time to contact your MP and, and actually make a, a statement that this is an environmental violation. Now, a second rig has arrived, and uh, we understand that appraisal drilling is about to commence. Now, what we've gleaned from our um, investigations is that uh, there's two companies here, Gull Oil and Able Oil, and they've uh, kind of come together. It's a consortium. Um, And we understand there's Russian money involved in here. So if you'd like more information on this, please send an email uh, to this email address here. And and do remember to subscribe to our channel. We'll continue with any more news as this uh, breaking story develops. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.